Hey guys, what's up? It's Spook811 here from GApps Tutorials, and today we're going to be going over the Flatlands Builder from DKE. Um, it's another brilliant plugin from the DKE development team, and it basically allows you to create vast flatlands for your server of different varieties. So you can have like um, a massive, vast flatland of stone, of wool, of different coloured sort of checkers. Um, this is really quite a cool styles that you can add to it. Um, so, first of all, we are going to go over the basics of how to create a world. Um, before you do any of this, you're going to need to download another plugin called Multiverse Core, um, and that basically allows you to transfer between these worlds. And you have to have that plugin to be able to use this uh, plugin. It's kind of like a requirement for it to work. Um, and I'd also recommend you download Multiverse Portals to go on top of that so that your users can just go through a portal to get to the other world rather than having need to use um, commands it's just a nicer experience for the users um, so I'd recommend that so once you've got all that and you've got Flatlands Builder downloaded and you've got it all on your server you're gonna have to create a different styled world um, to be able to have this kind of effect so we're gonna type forward slash mv create and then we're gonna create the world name so we're gonna call it w1 for world1 um, it's gonna be a normal world um, then dash g flatlands builder so that implements the flatlands builder plugin uh, then we're going to type in the height so we can go for a height of 5 so that's how many uh, how, that's how much depth you have in the blocks so you know if if you just want one layer it's going to basically be bedrock just underneath there so if your players try to dig down it's going to hit bedrock instantly so I'd recommend you have a good kind of height onto it. I'd really say five the minimum to be honest. Um, ten's a good number really because it's quite deep for users. Um, so once we've we've got the height, we're going to type in our different block styles. Um, so we're going to use um, the block number ooh, thirty-five nine, uh, and then we're going to use. Um, to go around the border of this now, so that so thirty-five nine, which is a nice turquoisey wall, um, will be the base of the checkers, um, and we're going to go for a white around the edge, and we're also going to use. Ooh, should we have a lighter blue with it as well? Um, so, three. So that's that part of the command. Um, that's pretty much done there now. So that's a basic command to create a basic world with different blocks and squares. Uh, MVTP W1. And you can see there we got a nice little flatlands with the turquoise one that we put in first, the white border that we put in second, and then the other part of the border which we put in last. So that's blocks A, B, and C. Uh, very simple to use. If you want to create just a, a plain world, uh, let's go back. Uh, we'll create a very simple plain world. You only need to put in one block type. So we'll we'll use our last one, which we'll changed the world name to create a new world. We will create world two, and instead of having all these numbers, you're still going to need the height, which is the five at the very beginning. We're just going to go for um, let's go for three, which I believe is grass. So ooh, sorry about that. That was my iPad. Got my notes on there and everything. Um, right, so we're going to go to world well, to two. Oh, it was mud. Sorry, my bad. Um, you can see one of my players has just joined the server. Um, so you can see that we got a vast mud land now, um, which uses the the, the flatlands uh, system again there, which is really cool. Um, you know, you can have vast flatlands, and it just it just really works really nicely for your different styles of play. Um, you know, if you need to have some area to create certain things like a redstone area, you can set redstone ones up. It's really good. Um, we use different areas to build different things, so we could have like a flatlands, um, flatlands area, or we could have um, what else do we have? We have redstone area, we have pixel art area, and we have an engineers area in ours and a time lapse area so you, know, you can divide them up into good areas and you can do different styles so this is a very very cool plugin to use so uh, we can also use different modes as well so if we go for the same basic style of mv create uh, world name so we'll call this world 3 um, and we want to go to normal 
I won't have G and then a flat. Oh, oh. flat lands builder. And the height of five again. Um, and we're going to go for what block should we go for this time? We'll go for a a red base, I think. So we'll go for 35, 14 for the red base, and we'll go for a. Um, go for a wooden outlay so we'll go for a five along with some stone around there as well so we'll have a one as well um, and then we're going to use a mode now a mode allows you to do different kind of styles of grids um, so you've got you got normal mode uh, you got grid you got grid two grid three grid four grid five um, I'm not going to go through them all I'd recommend you just go through them one night have a play with them um, we're going to use grid th grid three so to do that we just need to add one of these to the end and we shall go for grid 3. So it's generating there and uh, we'll, we'll just MVTP there to W3. And there you can see we got a different style pattern with the grid in a different styled way. So there we have it, that's the grid systems, that's the MVTP with um, Flatlands Builder very very easy to use if you have any problems with the with the plugin you can contact DKE themselves through um, the, the support tickets on the developer page of bucket or you can email them at support at dkabnh.net um, you can also comment in the comment section below and I can forward your comments over to to the actual um, owner who is Domineo SV so if he comments on this video with help for you guys that's because he's the owner he's the developer of the plugin so he knows what he's doing any help um, just ask so thank you for watching like subscribe and goodbye